Hello and greetings from Percentilers. My name is Mayank Rath Singh and you are watching the 34th video on 100 LRDI challenge for CAT 2020. So I have named the set as Home Appliance Exchange. Please have a look. So this is the small data which is given overall for the set. Reading this, you would realize that it's a Venn diagram based set. Let me just tell you meaning of small things. Changing the category means from F going to W or from W going to FW, from FW going to F means this is what they mean by changing the category. So from F becoming W or W or vice versa. So even after all the exchanges, no category had zero families. So uh, quite an easy set, I think. Let's directly get to the questions. So this is a small setup that I have made to help you out with the questions. So this is the Venn diagram of uh, number of families having refrigerator or washing machine or both. The name of the category is written in relevant regions as well as the number of families too. The previous information about uh, which was given in the percentage form, I have converted it into the number form. Number of families having refrigerator and changing their category has to be greater than or equal to as it was given to be greater than or equal to 40%. So 40% of 40. There are 40 families which have refrigerator and there are 25 families which have washing machines. So 50% of 25 becomes 12.5. Now the number of families cannot be in decimal. They can be either 12 or 13. But since it was supposed to be less than or equal to 12.5, so we have taken it to be maximum 12. These numbers will help us decide a lot of things. So like the first question, it's uh, it's an open-ended question. Uh, in CAD, they are called theta questions. We have to write in the box the number which is relevant. So after the value maximum, how many families had washing machine only. So clearly we have to maximize the number at this place. Now we know that more than 15 families can shift from this circle because refrigerator families were 40. Even 40 families can shift. Okay. So definitely we can shift these 25. These 25 go to this place. Okay. So that makes it 35. Now this number 15, they are counted under the families having refrigerator as well as the families having washing machine. Now the number of families having washing machine, the maximum number of families that that could change was 12. Okay, so even after we want to transfer everybody from these 15 families to the families having washing machine only, but because of this constraint, maximum up to 12 families, we can transfer only 12 from here. So these, this way, the number of families having washing machine and that could change their category was restricted to 12 only so if we add these three numbers we get 47 so i think 47 is the optimization of this number becomes the answer to the first question you may want to pause the video and think over it again to understand the data because it so happens in this question that uh, people get confused because of the language given in the question so you may want to read like a lot of people ask me that every family was in one of these categories then how could i make this zero after I transferred everybody from the only refrigerator category. So please understand that in the question, they did not say that there could not be zero in any of these categories. They said that every family was in one of these categories only. That means the total number does not change of the Venn diagram. However, any particular region may become, might become, could become zero. Going to the second question, after the value minimum, how many families had both the appliances. I think we just did that. We could transfer a maximum of 12 people from FW category to F category or W category. So I think after Diwali, 12 will be subtracted from 15 and 3 will be the minimum possible remaining number of families who had both the appliances. So 3 becomes the answer to this. Going to the third and the last question, what is the maximum difference between two categories? One, number of families who sold their only appliance refrigerator to purchase a washing machine and the number of families who sold their only appliance. So we want this difference to be maximum. All right. So as you know, that among these 40 people who had refrigerator, we could change the category of all 40 people. But here we are talking only about these 25 people because we have to deal with only appliance category. So only appliance category are these two. Okay. So we want to find the difference between maximum possible difference between the people who change their category among these 25 and the ones who change their category among these 10. Now here, so a difference is maximum when one of them is maximum and the other of them is minimum. So I would want to maximize F category who want to change their category. So the, what if all these 25 people want to change from only refrigerator to only washing machine category? That is possible. Yes, it is. And about the washing machine category, we have to keep this number lower than 12. Lower than 12, even 0 is possible. So why can't it be 0 only? Okay, so the difference maximum could be 25 or less. So I think 25 
would become the answer to this question. So we were told that the number of families having washing machine and who change their category have to be less than 12. How much less than 12? What was the minimum criteria was not told. So we took that advantage and we made that number zero. That is how we get the maximization of this difference, which is 25. That would be all for this small set. I think this is the shortest of the sets we have done till now. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you really like our selection of sets and our way of explanation then please do subscribe to our channel. This is Mayank Raj Singh signing off. See you again.